Welcome to the Bass Angler Magazine uh, video interview here of the brand new champion from Almanor, uh, Austin Wilson. We're going to uh, be talking to him a little bit about how we did it up there, kind of some of the things about what the Apex is and how it's going to bring and how important it is to young guys like himself that are out here on the on the West Coast. Uh, so, Austin, welcome. And uh, well, thank you for, for having me. Thanks for coming on, man. You, you know, I know you guys just that was a heck of a weekend up there and you guys are probably yeah. a little tired and worn out. Yeah. So I appreciate you coming on and, and, uh, doing the show. Uh, yes. So let's just kick this thing off with, you know, uh, apex brand new pro circuit out here. Uh, everybody's going to want to know, you know, how you did it up there, how you caught fish, how, you know, what was the, the deal, but you know, one of the things is it's kind of a remote Lake. So not a lot of guys are going up yep. there to fish, but you know, is this something that you, you know, Hey guys, head on up there and fish this lake. I know you've been around here a lot. I've been, I've fished that lake for years, but yeah. you know, is it a good fishery for people to head up there and, and check out? And, Oh yeah. I mean, I haven't been up there a lot. Actually the very first time I ever visited the lake was last year on Memorial day weekend. Um, and it was beautiful. There was not a lick of wind. I know the wind picks up in the afternoon most, most of the time, but, uh, the three days I was there, it was glass calm throughout the entire day. So it was, it was awesome. There was fish everywhere. They were betting, uh, they were betting for this event too. Um, even in the and it was snow and there was still, there was still some bed fish to be caught. Um, they were still locked on, which was very surprising because it was a 20 to 30 uh, degree drop in, in the temp. You know, we had seven, like 70 degree days right before the okay. event. And then it hit 30, <laughs> you know, like a pretty big cold, cold drop, you know, for those fish yeah so. uh so what was your what was your main deal up there what you know friday saturday sunday though i mean even in that three days there was a heck of a, of a weather change yeah uh, so what you know when you when you saw that um when you saw that uh i, I guess the lake but you know when you're going up there you know one of the things that i want to i want to say real quick is this guy didn't have any electronics on his boat no. so no guys it may look like you need to have six tv screens on your boat and everything to win this guy just did it without them so yeah. you know going into almanor you look up there here's this lake that you know when you guys got there on friday it was what almost 70 degrees and kind of light winds or and yeah, sunny was, and yeah kind of light winds yeah 50, so, 10 15 yeah so obviously with with apex we have a 30 day off limits where we cannot practice whatsoever um so what i did was i took the day before the tournament um off work i drove up there I got up there around 10 30 11 o'clock and i pretty much drove my truck around anywhere i had access to the lake because i wanted to see water level water clarity in certain areas and uh and i actually stumbled across just by walking the bank i stumbled across three bed fish so you know with us not having any practice it's obviously a higher elevation so it's a lot colder up there like down here in the valley you know and, and clearly like every, every these fish are full-blown spawn even post spawn and i thought maybe that it wasn't going to be time i thought those fish up there are going to be all pre-spawn and think any fish were going to be spawning and of course i thought i was up there looking around and i saw three bed fish so it kind of clued me in before the tournament even started that you know there was going to be some bed fish um obviously i started on those fish and they they actually disappeared they were not there um i don't know what happened to them i don't know if i mean they're pretty obvious spots so i don't know if a, a local came down and caught those fish or what but um yeah, I mean, day one and two, all my fish, um, you know, were bed fish. Uh, I found some, found some fish, caught them on uh, a cinco and a drop shot uh, with a three inch cinco wacky rig. Um, the regular four inch cinco that I was throwing was Texas rig because they were spawning around all these stumps and the stumps are all they're all rooted out and they're they're like in the stump in the roots. So I had that Texas rig where I can kind of work it really slowly over those over those stumps. Uh, or over the little the, um, the roots to drop into their beds. And there was a couple of times where you'd hook them or you'd see them swim off with your bait and you'd, you'd set the hook and it'd swim right back up underneath the roots. And you're like, oh no. And you just kind of like working them real slow and they would work their way out. I did snap off one fish, um, but the next day I caught it. So it doesn't really matter, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, um, so yeah, first two days, all my, all my fish were bed fish. Um, Cinco, a drop shot. I think I might've caught a couple um, on a Kitek. Um, really okay. didn't have, you know, really a pattern. I, that bed fishing was my only pattern. Um, and so that whole, that huge cold front that came through, 
I don't know what was going to happen. I mean, even bed fishing was pretty tough. I was only getting, I think the first day I caught eight fish. The second day I caught six or seven. Um, and then yesterday I only caught six. So it was a grind getting five. I wasn't too sure if I was going to get five at all. And especially with that cold, that cold front, you know, smallmouth, they love the sun. They love right. to be, and they're huge sight feeders. So um, I wasn't too sure how this, this weather was going to affect them. Um, and I mean, like I said, it was a grind every single day. Okay. You know, you kind of lead into um, something with that in <clears throat> one of the things that's really unique about this apex series is you, if had you not had the, the weight you had day one, day two, um, you wouldn't have made it, right. but because of the, but they also had the last day and, th and this is kind of, it's a unique setup. It's a, it's a, it's a very weird setup for some yeah. of us to think about. Yeah. Yep. But so you have your top five guys are your weight guys and your other top five are your numbers guys. So yep. had you not had the weight, you wouldn't have qualified with your numbers. Your numbers wouldn't have got Correct. you into it. But in Correct. the end, now on the final day, it's all about weight. There's no yep. numbers or nothing. So it's all about yep. weight. And, yep. But they clear all the weights. Exactly. Exactly. So Everything. Yep. tell me a little bit about, about what you feel. How do you feel about that as far as you know, is this something that's unique and you enjoy it? Or is it something that's unique and you're just gonna have to get used to it? Or, you know, it's definitely unique and I have to get used to it because, you know, going into, you know, day three and everything's zero and you're, I mean, I was in second place going into day three and, you know, I can, I can taste it. Right. I'm in, right. I mean, Nick, I'm right on Nick Woods heels and, uh, and then they blanking, they zero out everyone. It's like, Oh man, I really got to catch them. You know, you don't have that little bit of cushion you know, from, you know, right. the weight wise, you know, so the guys behind you can catch up, but obviously zeroed out. Um, and all of these guys, every single one of these guys are absolute hammers. Everyone knows how to catch fish here. Um, you know, 33 of the best guys on the West coast. And, uh, you know, it's definitely unique. Um, I mean, I'm sure if I would have lost, I would have been really, <laughs> really sour about it. But, uh, yeah, yeah I, I won. So, I mean, I can't, I can't complain. <laughs> right. Now it's a, you know, and that's, that's something that um, I, don't, I don't want to say for years with championship events, I, you know, there's some, there's some tournaments out here and I've been a part of, of helping those tournaments to grow. And, and I've always talked about that final day, making a final day zero, you know, cause it just completely, it levels that field. Yep. I mean, all of a sudden, all the work you put in is great. Yeah. You got, if you got lucky and caught a, you know, seven pound or eight pound or 10 pound or whatever, yep. It's gone. Oh, yeah. You now yeah. have to step back up and become that that champion right. on on what you had. And right. like you said, you had, you know, I I honestly I didn't get to see who came in. I didn't pay attention, I guess, to see who came in second, third, fourth, and how they how they kind of placed. But you know, these are the top 10 guys. And like you say on the West Coast right now, those were the top 10 guys in that field right there. They all had the same conditions, they all had the same weight, you know, or or things to deal with as far as zero weight. Yeah. You're going in. Show us what you got, guys. Tell us exactly. the, you tell us you're the pros, and this is how it's going to be. And I I truly enjoy that. I, I yeah. think that's great. Um, yeah. As an angler, I know, like you said, sitting where you were in second place, you're feeling, hey, I got a little bit of a cushion here at second, but I'm right on the guys first. Mm -hmm. So I, I can I can kind of understand that, you know, how you'd feel going into that. But yeah. it is a <laughs> uh, um, I think I think doing this this way. My other question is, what do you think about the whole numbers, you know, numbers and weight thing? I mean, what, what is that? How does that feel for you as far as, you know, because there's going to be tournaments where, you know, you're like, hey, I, I I don't have the weight. We've all been there. It's like, yeah, hey, I ain't got the weight, but I know I can catch 75 fish, but yeah. they ain't going to be more than 13 inches. You know? Right, right. You know, it, it's new, you know, I mean, like I say, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, um, you know, we've got what three, we have two more regular season events, then we have a TOC. Right. So, um, you know, obviously I'm trying to win AOI, you know, uh, everyone's trying to win AOI. So, I mean, I got a good start for the, for the season. Um, got to back it up because obviously I won AOI for the pro ams last year. Um, right. but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a whole new, you know, whole new system, which, you know, they're trying to do something different, which I like, you know, apex, obviously it's, it's a West coast deal, which, you know, obviously I fished the tour, you know, right. and, um, it, it's so hard for guys out West to, to travel back East and compete against those guys that live back there their whole lives and fish these lakes, you know, all the time when, you know, West coast guys, you know, they don't travel out East to fish those right. lakes, you know, so apex is doing an awesome job with, with bringing this big, you know, uh, big events out West, 
and fishing the west coast you know, west western states um obviously right. this year is a majority going to be or all of them are going to be in california um you know next year is going to be it's going to be different they're going to go to different states so but um yeah no I, i'm liking the new, new format and i'm glad to be a part of it to be totally honest yeah you know this is um that's one of the things i wanted to talk to you about is is you know you you're like I said before, you're, you're one of the perfect anglers to ask these questions because, you know, you're one of our younger anglers and I'm not, you know, I mean, there's, um, what's the, uh, uh Luke, 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 um, Luke, Jones. I think Luke, Luke Jones. Jones. I mean, he's another, you Luke know, Jones. young kid that you guys are, yep. you know, you guys are going to benefit from, you know, I talked to Greg, um, last time I interviewed Greg, I've talked to Mark Lassane, I've talked to Zach Thompson and they're, you know, I'm not saying they're all the oldest guys in the world, but they're, they're older guys. Yeah. Um, but they're creating something and helping create, and you're a part of, you know, helping create this as well. Uh, but guys like yourself and guys like Luke, they're going to be benefiting from this. If we can make this a great tour up here on the West coast, right? Because now maybe you don't have to run, you know, you, you got, you fished, you know, you got, you won the dream package, the live in the dream package. You got to go back there. You got to see what it was like, yep. but it wasn't easy. I mean, and I, no. and I know it wasn't an easy thing to say, Oh, I'm going to stay out here. I qualify. I'm going to stay out here and do this again next year. You right. know, you're talking about either you're going to uproot your entire home and your family and your life, or you're going to have to travel back there. Right. With this right. coming on. I mean, is this something that you can say, you know what, I'm going to hang my hat on this and I'm not going to try to go do those. And I'm going to stay out here on the West coast and see if I can make a living out here. Yeah, you know, I would, I would like, you know, time is going, time is going to tell, you know, how this is going to play out. You know, I really, really hope it kicks off. And, uh, I, you know, if it does, then I won't have to go back east ever again. You know, I'll stay in the West Coast and I'll be familiar with all these bodies of water, right. or most of them anyway. Um, you know, back east, like I was saying, you know, you know, coming from California, I've never fished these places when all these guys have years and years of experience on these places, you know, and, um, it's, it's just really hard from a guy and, and you know entry fees for out west you know for not out west but on the tour is forty thousand i mean just right. to, just to be able to play is forty thousand dollars that doesn't cover you know expenses you know that doesn't cover you know how expenses at home nothing so it's another easily you know 100 it's another 40 to 80 grand you know for to pay your bills and you know gas food all that you know so it really it's almost impossible you you gotta be you gotta be loaded to be totally honest. Right. No, I'm not loaded at all. <laughs> you know, I have to work for it for sure. Right. You know, so um, I really hope this Wild West thing really kicks off, so I can stay in the West Coast. Because to be honest, you know, with all the politics and stuff in California, I you can't beat California weather at all. California right. weather is is the best. Um, you know, out 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 east is just humid, hot. The weather's changing <laughs> consistently. Like it's never the same. Never. It's right. never the same. You know. So here it's is we're spoiled out here and i don't think a lot of people realize it you know i mean obviously the politics you know and everyone is, it is. i try not to get in i just go fishing i try to just go fish <laughs> yeah you can't bigger. yeah you you can't yeah. get into the politics out here. i mean it's yeah. the one you know yeah. unfortunately for a lot of us that's the downfall of california yeah. but it is hard to leave a place that's so like you say we have we're spoiled i just yeah. i i just fished with bob tyler on clear lake yesterday and we had a long conversation about how spoiled we are with you know, yep. guys, I mean, sometimes we catch six, seven pounders on Clear Lake every day. And, yeah. you know, we're sitting there going, ah, that's cool. You know, like it's no big deal. Some people, that's a fish of a lifetime. I oh, mean, yeah. I, I've talked to a lot of guys back east that are fishing lakes that, you know, you catch an eight pounder and they're, you know, that's like, oh my God, I'm going to mount that thing. It's going on yeah, the wall. That's, that's the greatest right. fish right. I've ever caught. And out here, it's just like, it's just part of a bag. You know, you have yeah. it. And, yeah. and we have that. We're lucky to have, I mean, you were just on a lake where you were catching four and five pounds smallmouth. Yep. And there wasn't one of them. It wasn't two of them. It was a lot of them. Yeah. And that's yeah. a, I mean, it's a great fishery and there's so yep. many great fisheries. Um, you know, they say all over the place, you know, bass is a bass and blah, blah, blah. But you know, you've been back East and you fish that it's a different fishery back there. It is. I, you it know, is. I've got friends who live in Tennessee. I've got friends who live in all over the place and they're like, Oh no, no, no. You can bring all the stuff that you have in California. You can take it back there. You can throw it in the garbage and start over because it's not yep. going to be the same. Yeah. Now, yeah, if exactly. a guy that's traveling from here to go there, it's like, how do you even think about putting a tackle box together to go fish back there, you know, compared yeah. to here? You know, the great thing is about YouTube, you know, you <laughs> start YouTube and stuff, you know, like, you, just, uh, you know, but if, if we didn't have YouTube, yeah, it'd be just a whole new, you just go fishing and try to figure it out, you know, but right. uh, yeah, it just, yeah, I, I had some experience fishing, you know, up on the Great Lakes, you know, for smallmouth, so I kind of understood, you know, what they like. You know, which they kind of, it's, it's similar, you know, down right. here and it kind of almost sets up 
a lot like uh, upstate New York, you know, fishing Lake Ontario and fishing Lake Champlain. Um, you know, it's pretty similar, you know, the just big boulders, you know, stumps and stuff like that, you know. Um, obviously, Lake Ontario and Champlain, they don't have stumps, but, you know, at least I don't think I don't think they have stumps, which I never right. saw any, but, <laughs> they, you know, they hold on on the big bouldery stuff, you know, so, right. and they're not like, they're not like a large mouth where they'll, they'll set up on a, on a lay down or on a point, you know, waiting for a trout to swim over. They're just kind of, they just roam, you know, um, and it, I kind of, and a lot of things that obviously smallmouth, you, you fish, for, they don't have big mouths like large mouth, you know, you can't be throwing right. big baits for me. You're not, don't get me wrong, you can catch them on an S-Wave or 168 or a 200. Right. I've even seen people catch them on HUDs, but a lot of times these, bait, these fish are eating pretty small bait, little crawdads, you know, sculpting, you know, little, uh, uh, not silver size, but pond smelt, you know, a lot right. of the bait, their, their targeting is a lot smaller. So, um, and they're, they're always chasing those things down. So they're always on the move. Yeah. Lots of, lots of uh, the, you know, Almano readers came off of, you know, they got those sculpting up there and there's a, they're a huge, yeah. <laughs> you know, you food, huge food base up there. And, um, so, uh, I guess the next place to kind of go with this is, you know, you know, your next event, I think they kind of, you kind of know where it's at already. Uh, yep. I, I think it's gonna be Amador. Yep. Um, you know, that's no, another don't be confused and not Almanor, not Almanor, <laughs> Amador. Yeah. Cause I got confused when I said, when I saw it, I thought it said Almanor again in July and I'm like, Oh, this could be, that could be a fun event. It should be a top water deal. Like that right. should be fun. But then uh, someone's like, no, it's Amador. And I'm like, Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I totally now you, <laughs> now I don't know if you fished that one much or, or, or anything. I know there's a lot of guys out there going, Oh my gosh, this thing could be a slug fest, but it's also going to be July. And yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I've that's a, yeah, I've only been there once. It was Memorial Day weekend, <laughs> like like uh, like up at uh, Almanor, and right. uh, it was really tough. It was really tough when I was there. That was the only right. time I've been there. I I plan on going back to kind of practice. It's pretty close, you know what? Right. right, an hour hour fifteen from my house, so I plan on going there to kind of check it out a little bit. But yeah, July, I don't know how it's going to go. I mean, I think it might be tough. You know, any any lake that doesn't really have a whole lot of grass. A lot of times it's tough, you know, the Delta, yeah. Clear Lake, those are the only places that fish really, really good in the summertime. Right. Other than that, I feel like most of our lakes kind of, kind of like back East, they, they're not that great, you know, in the summertime. Right. So, um, but yeah. Hold on. Ah, we lost a little bit. So, we're, <laughs> so it happens yeah. when people get phone calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have it's a phone good. call. Yeah, um, so. it, it's, uh, yeah, so that's, you know, that's one of those things that, you know, I, I, I said this before and I've asked before, but, you know, one of the things that's really interesting to me is that with there being smaller fields right now, and I know the fields are going to get bigger over the next couple of years, yep. they're going to grow the field, but being at 30, you know, Amador is a tiny lake. Almanor is yep. not a big lake. I mean, no. 30 boats on Almanor, it, it probably was okay, but if you put 50, 60, 70 on there, there's no way. Yeah, so and they're on gonna top have of to, it's a three day three day event as well, you know. Right, you guys. I mean, they're gonna have to figure out. I don't know. You know, I don't want to see the apex become something where it's like, hey, we only go to Delta, we only go to Clear Lake, we only go to these right. big massive lakes, these normal lakes. I like to see you guys going to these smaller lakes yep. because, as a person who fishes those lakes a lot, and you, you know, you're one of the guys too. You, you know, I've known that you fish a lot of the lakes, like the Scotts Flats, and the you yep. know, so many other lakes that are smaller and they're yep. they're super fun to fish but yep. not a lot of people get to see them and right. to take the 30 best pros on the west coast you know and put them out there and say hey here's go see what you guys can do out here yep. you know i think it really encourages people to go see those lakes and go oh man i'm missing the boat here yep. these guys just tore it up yeah um you know or we get to go <laughs> they missed something <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm just as good as they are. I, don't I know. know. <laughs> hey, I'll so. tell you what, I thought the same thing when I went back east. And I'm like, I'm just as good as these guys. But guess what? No, I got my teeth kicked in. These guys are good. <laughs> hey, and you can't slip up at all. Like, right. when you're fishing back there, I mean, yeah, they pay top 65. 65th place gets 10 grand. Oh, 60, top 65? Now, that shouldn't be that hard. No, it's a lot harder than you think. Trust me. Like, I, I thought I was going to – there's some terms for I, I thought I was going to wreck them. And I, I straight up got my teeth kicked in, you know, and then there was other tournaments that I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do. And then I got a check, you know? So, right. um, I mean, all, it seemed like all the tournaments that I've been like, I'm not too sure how this is going to go. Like I'm not on anything is the tournaments that I do, do the, the, the most, the, the, be, the best on. So, um, 
You know, all the pre- terms, I think I'm going to crush him. No, I, I get my, I, I do, I do pretty bad. I think I have a high expectation of what I'm going to catch. And if I don't get him to buy it, then I start spinning out, you know? So, yeah. um, I mean, I try to keep a level head and just go fishing and just fish what's in front of me. Um, obviously that's kind of what I did this week. I don't have any grass. I don't have spot lock. I don't have power poles, you know, uh, I just went fishing. I have, a, I have a, uh, Minn Kota Fortrex, you know, so, right. so, you know, I don't have that kind of stuff. And especially trying to bed fish, you know, with the wind kind of blowing a little bit, it's blowing you around, pushing you towards those fish. You're always hitting that troll motor, you know, making a little bit of noise. You want to be quiet as possible, you know, when you try right. to fish for a bed fish, you know, so, but, um, yeah, so. I mean, it's just totally different ball game back there fishing against those guys and just taught, you know, trying to get a check is just difficult. And so, right. but here on the West coast, these guys are just as good. You know, these guys know a lot of these bodies of water, just like me, you know? So, and a lot of these guys have a little bit more experience. I'm one of the younger guys on, on in, in the apex, in the apex cup. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to the next couple of events. Yeah, it should be. I, I think they're going to be, you know, amazing. I think this thing's going to really kick. I hope this really kicks off. Cause I, yeah. you know, I, I'm not, there are so many guys out here that I think would love to have the opportunity to make that. And yep. it is, it is affordable. You know, I mean, $2,000 yep. seems like, Oh, that's a lot of money, but like you said, in comparison to $40,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, yep. that's definitely something, you know, you're talking about what there's three events right now. I don't know how many they plan on going to in the future, uh, whether it's going to be four or five, six, whatever it is. Uh, yeah. But you know, it, and, and they're also, I think starting off the way they're starting off, Jeremy, you know, they're, um, they're pushing hard to get this a no entry fee and you're yeah. going to have to qualify for it. And, you know, as a guy who is going to be out here, you know, fishing it yourself, you know, you're locked in for what, two, three years right now. Two, two, I, think, I believe it's two years. What I heard. I mean, I don't know. I okay. Mean, so you're changing all the time. So, right. So you're locked in for two yeah. years, but if you don't keep up, you're, you're down out. the road and there's somebody new coming in. Yep. And yeah, you got you to qualify all over again, go fish the pro-am to get in that, that top 10. Yep. Yeah. So it's uh so it's now, it, that's, I was going to ask you that. So it's a top 10 qualifier to get into these. I believe that's what it is. That's for, they're going to add uh, 10 more guys uh, for the next two years. And then after that, they're, I believe they're going to kick out the, the bottom 10. I could be totally wrong about that. Right. But that's but kind that's of what okay. I understand. Right. Yeah. That's all right. I mean, that's, that's exactly what, you know, we need to, they need, you know, this is all new to everybody and it's going to be yep. great. You know I mean? You you know, it's the, the apex is, I think is the future for the West. If we can keep it going and we can get people behind it, you know, what do we, you know, what is it that we need to do on, you know, our side of things to keep it out here on the West to keep this growing, you know, it's it fish it, fish the events, Yep. yep. Um, support yep. it. So, and that's, there's nothing more you can, there's nothing more you can ask there. Just support it. And hope yep. that we can hope that we can grow into, you know, I'd love to see guys like yourself, uh, Luke Johns, these guys, I'd love to see these guys, these young kids coming up that, you know, they make legends out of them the way that they did back East. Yeah. You know, I think that yep. the F I think the FL, not the FLW, the MLF, I believe the F, MLF kind of was <clears throat> a benefit of what Bassmaster had done. Bassmaster yeah. had created legends and then yep. they just kind of skimmed off those legends, took them over to MLF. And now they're building their, their brand off of that. You know, I hope we can do something like that out here. Only we're going to be starting from the Bassmaster side of it where, you know, you guys are, Greg Gutierrez is a, you know, out here is a legend. Um, yep. John Pearl, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of names out here oh, yeah, that are synonymous for us, but you take that same name, go back East and nobody knows who they are. Exactly we need to build that out here so that the guys back East know, Oh man, there's a circuit out there that, yeah. you know, maybe they start to have to come over here to prove who they are. Yeah. And maybe those guys <laughs> that are from the West coast fishing back there will say, Hey, this is a lot of money. This is just, just amount of money right. back home. And I'm, I'm closer to home. I don't have to be traveling this, this far away from my family, you yeah. know, to be able to compete. So, I mean, I hate to take anglers from any, any, uh, circuit, but, uh, you know, West, we, West Coast doesn't get get the love like it should. You know, we no, have it doesn't. Great victories and and uh, you know, I'm I'm sucks that the politics is a lot. I think it has a lot to do with it. You know, yeah. because you know, California has some great great fishing. Yeah, well, and and we just need to grow the grow the sport out here and keep it coming. And uh, I think that uh, guys like Skeet Reese and Ish Monroe and even you know Aaron Martins and you know the list goes on of guys who have come from here. Uh, I, I think that, uh, um, I was trying to think of, remember his name, Gary, Gary Klein. I mean, he grew up fishing Almanor. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, so would, you know, would that have been something really cool for him to, to you know, come back and be able to fish a pro event like that out here? It's, yeah. you know, that's, th these are things that, you know, we've never had that we've had the, the, uh, the pedigree has come from California. I mean, there's always, you know, Luke Clausens are out there, the Aaron Martins, the, yep. the you know, all, there's so many names that have oh, been out so there, many. you know, that yep. have come from the West coast and Hey, maybe we can turn that in here and, and start turning that up. You know, right, um, right. you're out there, you're doing a great job, you know, promoting the sport, keeping it alive. Every, you know, people are still really starting to know who you are and mm -hmm. you know, it's, that's going to be, that's going to be the future. So, yeah. uh, you know, I'm glad to, I'm glad to see this happening. And, and, uh, I hope that we, I hope that we in the future can, uh, say, Hey, we were the ground step. So the, of uh, being made of, of one of the greatest tours going on now on the West yep. coast. So, yeah. um, Austin, I don't know you got, uh, you got anything else you want to, you want to thank anybody out there and yeah, I would love to thank all my sponsors, uh, D and M custom baits, babes, boat care, wicked weights, uh, Cal Coast, Arby Bass Outdoors, um, P Line, uh, who else? Kai Tech. Um, I know I'm missing. I know I'm missing a couple. Um, but I, I know I'm put on the spot. I'm trying. I should have had a list. Oh, that's for okay. It, you know, it's, you know hey, it's... so many that support me, and I, I try to support them, them back, um, the best that I can. You know, through my YouTube, I do a lot of YouTube thing. I try to post mm -hmm. pretty consistently with my YouTube stuff. Um, right. Obviously, I filmed the entire event, um, and so this will get my video will get posted here in probably about a week or a week or so. Um, I have a lot of footage to go over, a lot of three days, you know, three <laughs> days to go. That's a lot of time. We've got to yeah, go over that. through every clip, you know. So, uh, I know that well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to take me a minute, but um, yeah, no, I know. I, I a huge shout out to all my sponsors. Um, they they do they do a bunch for me. Well, that's awesome. Uh, Austin, I want to thank you very much for coming on again and doing this interview and yep. uh, good luck out there the rest of the tour. I hope we get to interview you again because you did yeah. a good job. So yeah, let's uh, let's keep going and uh, keep this thing rolling and hopefully this becomes a really good tour and a really good circuit in the future. Yeah, so, definitely. All right, sir. Well, thank you again and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, sounds good. Mm.